Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Rich Goyer. I'm the project leader for the tree planting uh, project with the St. Bernard Wetland Foundation. This foundation was uh, established in 1993 by a group of concerned landowners, uh, sportsmen, outdoorsmen, who noticed the uh, degradation of their uh, swamp environments. Uh, following uh, the start of oil construction and drilling in the uh, late 40s, channelization has led to uh, saltwater intrusion into areas that never before had saltwater in them. We take it for granted as we drive along many of our roads that there's nothing out there, but it's hard to imagine that there was a nice mature uh, environment with uh, tall trees and wildlife species that are uh, now endangered. In the nursery, we have approximately 3,000 seedlings. We have two primary species that are native to our environment, uh, bald cypress and live oaks, that uh, grow into magnificent trees, and most of you are familiar with what they look like in their yards. What we wind up with and getting from our starting points are little sticks that come from the Department of Agriculture and Forestry tree nurseries throughout the state. And these, in a year or so, with irrigation and a little culturing, turn into a tree that will survive better when we outplant them into uh, the native environment. Okay, as a point of reference in St. Bernard Parish, uh, just off this map is Paris Road in downtown Chalmette, the city thereof. And the areas that we're trying to restore is what's called the interior wetlands. The Corps of Engineers uh, built post Katrina, I call it the Great Wall of St. Bernard, which encompasses a good portion of the inhabited area, not all of it, but what we're trying to do is take these areas where there is somewhat dry land as a result of the original dredging and trying to restore that to uh, cypress and uh, live oaks. Okay, in the planting of our potted trees, uh, the biggest issue that we have is trying to get trees to survive in an environment where they're not irrigated, watered, or looked after except by Mother Nature. So we have to dig a hole that's about twice the width of the uh, pot, uh, the soil that we put in, and we try to make sure the bottom is flat. And You have to pack soil back around it to fill up the hole, and if it's slanted on the sides it's a lot easier to push soil down to where the roots are. And of course we also use protectors around uh, some of the trees if they're planted near water to protect them from uh, nutrient damage and also uh, they'll protect against rabbit damage. Our levees are great protectors for our people but they also prevent the deposition of silt into the uh, areas that long depended upon it. And consequently, our environment has changed. The barrier islands are uh, degra degraded, and every time we do get a storm, it tends to be more severe. We're trying to pick our battles now to restore some of these, I guess you'd call them safe environments, places where we think we have a chance with the amount of uh, funds that are available and the resources of personnel to try to plant native tree species and uh, grasses and other uh, vegetation that will provide uh, stability in the soil and also protect against storm surge. So the major goal of this organization was to uh, provide education to the people to realize what's going on beyond their doorsteps and also to uh, provide some expertise in guiding those that want to uh, help restore those environments.